393. Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to Fairy Farm. Today, we're starting a brand new adventure. I've just inherited my grandpa's old farm, right in the middle of nowhere. We call this No Man's Land. All I've got is a piece of land with a withered potato farm, an old truck and a dream. We have no money, no resources, just a will to turn this place around. We've got this old wooden shack, an open barn, a silo, a shed, a water tank and I think this is an old hay shed. It's going to be a challenge but together we're going to breathe new life into this farm so buckle up and let's get started on this journey. Remember, if you enjoyed the ride, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So let's get started. I do have a chainsaw, uh, which did cost me a thousand pounds, but we really needed something to get started. And I spent my last thousand pounds on a chainsaw. We are going to have to chop down some of these trees to earn some money so then we can actually get started on our farm because I'd really love to get something planted this month. Now, I'm not sure what can be planted during August actually. Let me just check and see what we can plant. So this month we can plant canola. However, I'm thinking we wait until next month because what we can do next month is we can plant some wheat. And if we plant wheat, at least then we can get a chicken coop of some form. And rather than purchasing wheat to feed them, we can literally just go and use our farm to feed them. However, it's not going to be until next year where we get to feed them. So we need to be very resourceful during this first season here on our grandpa's old farm. So first tree down, let's get it all chopped up and ready to be distributed down by the opening of no man's land now this is called no man's land because literally there's nothing here except for a couple of lakes some old farms and obviously the old shack i remember my grandpa though he used to tell me stories about this place because he inherited this from his grandfather and that was the last time it was actually used as a farm so my plan is to bring new life to this farm okay let's get our truck fully loaded i don't think we're going to fit this whole tree into our truck as you can see it's it's already starting to get a bit overloaded the more logs we put in the suspension keeps dropping i'm not sure how that's going to handle hopefully it handles all right so we'll see we don't have too far to go to sell the wood but even so we need to be careful because we don't want to destroy this already rusty and old truck Right, I think we can fit a couple more logs on here. We might actually be able to fit all of the tree into my truck, but we want to be careful because we don't want to overload it. Like I was saying, we don't want to destroy the truck too early in the game now, do we? So already it's nine o'clock. I'm getting a little bit thirsty. I think I might head into the house, grab myself a cup of tea because this is quite exhausting work, moving all of this wood around. Let's stick that on the roof. There we go. Where's the rest of my tree gone? Ah, it's here. It's, it's still a bit too heavy, so I'll just do one more cut. And then the rest of it should be able to go onto my truck. We can get the rest of this down to the lumber yard, just down the road. I've lost a piece of my wood. Ah, it's here. There we go. I'm not going to chop this any smaller than it is. And... <laughs> We might be a little bit overloaded, but so long as everything stays on my truck and we, we should make some decent money from this. Oh, look at that rear suspension. Oh, watch out where I'm going. Yeah, I think before I go and drop this off, I am just going to fuel up myself and have a nice little cup of tea. Well, we've had a quick rest and it's time to go and see just how much money we're going to make from this one tree. We might need to be a little bit careful moving all of this because we are a little bit overloaded. Now, I guess the great thing about this vehicle is it does have a pretty good top speed. So it does mean, oh, nearly tipped there. So it does mean we can actually get to and from the lumber yard and the selling point much faster than if we just had an old tractor however if we did have an old tractor we'd be able to carry much more than what we are able to move today wow 64 mile an hour with nearly two tons on the back 
<laughs> this truck ain't gonna be lasting long. Well, I'm really, I'm so tempted to just do a hard left. Woo! And see if he'll fully tip over, but let's not do that, okay? Let's see how much money we're gonna make off our first tree. £1,679. Now that's not too bad. We are going to need to make a lot more money than that though to get this farm cultivated and planted. I'm not sure just how much money we're going to need. We may even need to invest in a trailer first. So there's an old man down the road. He does have... Ooh! I didn't realise I was playing Dirt Rally then. But yes, there's an old man down the road and he's got this old tractor which I'm quite interested in buying. Let's just go onto the computer and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. There is this Fiat 480 tractor, which he's selling for £6,900, which I think is a bargain in all honesty. And I think that this would be perfect to just get started. We do have two more days this month, though, to chop down as many trees as possible. On to our second tree. Let's just get rid of all of these branches. And we need to be completely ready for next month, okay? Because that is when we're going to go ahead and plant our next farm. Now, hopefully we make a similar return on our investment. So another £1,600 will be perfect. However, it's not always guaranteed. Uh, can I fit that in lengthways? Yeah, we can just about. Um, about that long again. Hopefully this is around the same length. Yeah, 1.4 meters. Brilliant. We should be able to just fit that in snug there. There we go. It's a bit like playing Tetris filling up the back of these trucks. That's a, another 1.4 meter log. Hey, we're doing all right keeping all of these to the same size. Already our suspension is dropping quite a bit. And um, we'll do some shorter logs just to prop up at the end here. And then we can stack on some slightly larger logs. Yeah, so I think what we may end up doing is we may end up leasing some equipment to begin with. Just to get that farm cultivated and stuff. Because we can't really afford to be buying a cultivator and stuff like that this early in the game. So yeah, I'm going to chop down another tree and hopefully we'll be able to fit this onto the back of my truck. Probably not the whole thing, but you know, a reasonable amount of it. And we'll just debranch it. It's a shame that you can't actually chop these branches off because some of these branches are quite thick. And, you know, it could actually be used. Probably could have got away with some larger logs here, but we will be as frugal as possible when it comes to chopping these down into smaller chunks. Just to make the guys at the shop's lives a little bit easier because unloading this is a bit of a task on its own. Alright, let's... Stick some more on the other side. Yeah, we are way overloaded for this. Probably one more log here. We should be all set to go. I'm just gonna stick him there. Oh, we've I've just we've just lost a couple of logs. Three logs, no way! I think we're at maximum capacity here for our truck. If we put any more on it, we are gonna burn these tires out so fast. And we need this truck to last as long as possible. Let's get this off to the shop. Whoa, this truck's going to tip over at any point. Look at how low that suspension is. Damn. These tyres ain't going to last long. Um, um, I might have to avoid doing such big loads next time. Because if I carry on doing this, we're not going to have a truck to work with. And we're going to be broke. 65 mile an hour with nearly three tonnes on the back of our truck. Oh, let's slow down. Whoa! That was scary. Let's see how much this load will give us. £2,719. Wow, that's a lot of money. So I think we're going to do one more load, which might involve chopping down an extra tree, and then we can start thinking about getting a cultivator of some form. Um, but before we do that, I think I'm going to have some lunch. Already this truck needs new tyres. We've only done a couple of runs. Go back to the shack and have some lunch. 
Oh, well that was lovely. I had a nice little bacon butty. One of the farmers up the road, he sorted me out some fresh cuts of bacon and they were delicious. Right, okay, let's get our truck loaded up. It's getting quite late in the evening, so we really need to get a move on. Now I might have to do lighter loads in the future, just so then I don't destroy the integrity of my truck. Otherwise we're going to have to source a new truck. Well we are going to have to source a new truck at some point but it's too early for us to be sourcing a truck right now. We don't have the money number one. We don't really want to lease one because a truck is something we're going to need on a day to day. So we just got to be very careful I guess. Oh this is hard work this is. This is exhausting doing all of this logging. I think my grandpa is going to be quite proud of me because this farm has been in the family for generations and it hasn't been used in years. Um, and me and my grandfather spoke about getting this farm sorted one day. But unfortunately, um, he's not with us anymore. So I thought, well, well, he left it to me in his will. And I thought, well, let's make him proud and get this farm going. Okay, and our final piece here. I'm stick you there. And let's get it all fastened up. There we go. All nice. It's a bit of a big load again, but I've got to make money somehow. Okay, now this should bring us up to around £6,000. I'm not sure if that's going to do us. We're definitely not going to be able to purchase anything just yet. Now it would be nice to purchase a tractor, just when we're not leasing tractors out. Yeah, this truck isn't going to last too long though, the way I'm working with it. But at least we're able to get to and from here really fast because of the speed this is capable of. It is getting close to dinner time and my tummy's rumbling so I should probably go and eat something. But first we'll just get rid of this wood. There we go, two and a half thousand pounds. We're actually near seven thousand pounds, which is pretty good. I think that the tractor we were looking at before was around seven thousand pounds. So maybe we do just do one more load today and then tomorrow look, we can always purchase that tractor. Now, it probably might even be worth getting a trailer. I have seen one up the road for three and a half thousand pounds, but I'm not sure if it's worth doing that because we do need to get our farm going and get something planted as soon as possible. I would like to get this whole road paved at some point as well because that might make it a little bit easier to get to and from. Alright, let's go see what's for dinner. Oh, well, I'm all refreshed. That was lovely. I had some roast chicken and some vegetables. Luckily, the farmers around here are quite generous and they have actually given me a decent supply of food just to get me through the starting months here. Right, so I'm thinking that maybe we can do one more tree today. I'm not sure what time Lumberyard closes. I think they said that, they, that they're open till around 9, 9 o'clock at night. I think the best thing we can do is load up our truck as much as possible before, say, 8 o'clock or something, half past 8. Because we've still got to get there as well, load it up and all of that, and unload it. I don't want them doing overtime just for me. So we, we will need to get this loaded up as fast as possible. I'm not really too fond of 
chopping down a bunch of trees without replanting them so i would like to get a tree planter of some form at some point then we can get a bunch of trees replanted as soon as possible because i do love the great outdoors i love my trees and i love nature so last thing i want to be doing is destroying nature by chopping down all of mother nature's wonderful creations now we're going to be a little bit overloaded again but i'm going to make sure that we don't load it as much as we have been doing because the truck is is starting to struggle i'm starting to hear a bit of a clunk when i'm driving along now don't get me wrong this truck has been here for a while and it's been sat there doing nothing for quite some time hence the rust so we do need to be careful and not destroy it too soon You know, it's quarter past six, so we've still got a couple of hours of daylight left. So I might actually check out that tractor today. Because I think £7,000, it's a bit of a steal. Yeah, it's quite an old tractor. But you know, we've got to get started somehow. So already we're at £6,855. Hopefully, this will bring in another couple of grand. And if that's the case, we could actually get cultivating today. Which would be awesome. £1,767. Now that's not too bad. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to order the tractor. I'm going to give Peter a call shortly and see if he'll deliver it directly to my farm because I don't have equipment to sort of transport it. So I'll see if Pete will be willing to, to drop it off for me. You know, he might ask me for a little bit extra, but I don't mind paying a little bit extra for him to drop it off at the farm for me. We do have enough time to possibly even chop down another tree, but we are losing daylight now, so we need to be careful. Um, because we don't want to be cutting down trees when it's pitch black, because we'll end up losing half of the trees as well. Okay, I'm going to give Peter a call and see what he'll charge to have it delivered. So I spoke to Peter and he says he can just deliver it to me for free. He's only up the road. Um, and he, he also said that if I need anything, but I can just ask him and he'll quite happily um, help us out if he can, which is quite nice of him. I do love a friendly neighbour. He says that it will be delivered in the next hour or so, so we won't have time to do any cultivation today. But, you know, we've still got a couple of days left of this month, so we can always cultivate tomorrow. Um, maybe even do a little bit more logging once we've got the, the field sorted. Well, Pete's just been along and he's dropped off my tractor now, which is awesome. I'm so chuffed with it. He said he did a little bit of maintenance on it before bringing it down. We just had to change out some air filters and stuff like that. But other than that, this has been pretty awesome in all honesty. The £6,900, it's not a bad deal. I'm just going to get all my vehicles into this barn right here. Uh, so then we don't get rustier than we already are if it rains overnight. Now I did check the weather, it did say it wasn't going to rain. So we should be alright for, for today. But yeah, this is our new tractor, our Fiat 480. Now, like I was saying, it's only got like 50 brake horsepower, so it doesn't have much pulling power. So we are going to have to be as careful as possible. And look at that brand new air filter he's put on it. He's a good, he's a good man, Peters. And thank you very much, Pete, for dropping this off for us. Okay, so I'm going to go and relax now for the rest of the evening. And then we'll be able to continue tomorrow. And that's a wrap, Fernie Farmers. We've put in some serious work today, chopping down trees and saving up for that old Fiat 480 tractor from Pete up the road. Every tree we cut down is a step closer to reviving this farm and continuing our grandfather's legacy and my great-great-grandfather's legacy. If you enjoyed our journey today and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support really does help us grow and keeps our farming dreams alive. Until next time, keep farming, keep dreaming, see you then, bye bye.